stress, or maybe this sign marks the zero, which is the equator. As you know, equator, you can't see it. That's why we have to plot the sign here to mark zero. This is the north, and this is the south. So what you're going to see is when we put some water here, north it will be rotating like the crop. South it's counterclockwise, but it's actually here, it will stop. So what kind of that? I will let you know. So we need to get some meters away from the line so that you can be able to see the rotation. So we are going to start with the north, <coughs> then we do it south, and then later on here. So okay, which side is north? Yeah. No. Excuse me. <laughs> Right, so it is north enough. This is the north where the teacher indicates an end. This is the northern side. We are going to put some water, and because the water is very clear, we need to indicate it with some sticks which tell us how the water is behaving. As you can see, it's rotating like the wash here. Yes, and remember the fact we can make it to the far north, let's say North Africa, getting to Europe, Canada, America, it will be the same, but it will be accurating more speed according to the distance you are up from the zero. And the cause of this rotation. It's because of the rotation of the earth. You know the earth is here. from west moving to east. When it's rotating, they create a force called a geotrophic force. Make you want to rotate. The way you see rotating clockwise, but when you're on the south, the other way around. But on the equator, it will not rotate. The reason is because the gravity from the north and south, they meet at zero. When they balance, you cannot see rotation. Yeah, so this is the northern hemisphere. Let's do it the other side. Yes. Can I carry it? No, 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 no. Let me do it. Oh, you are from the north? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we are from the north. Oh, yeah, we are from the north. We are going south. Oh, now we are going to Australia. Yeah. We have come from North Africa. So now we are going where? Canada. No, Canada is in the north. We're going to Australia side. Yes, let's see how the tell us. Do you remember how it was going the other side? It was going like this. Yeah. You can also try to spin it back. See now, <laughs> yeah. go back. and uh, the far you can go far away. Let's say Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, Tanzania, it will be the same, but it will be doing more because you are quite far from the, the line. And the same thing can happen when you can flush the toilet or when you can have the tap of water. What you need to check is the dropping of the water, like this one you see here. You can tell me this one is spinning, but when you go back to the center, you try to move this one. It will be straight, and this one will stop. That's why you have to name the equator is like the center, whereby you can't see the or maybe the rotation. That happens in the sink sometimes, it's the same. Yeah, in the sink, in the shower, it's about the same thing. So let's do it at the center. So we go back to the equator? Yes. Now we're gonna travel all the way back <laughs> to the equator. To the equator. Zero, zero. Which is two seconds away. Ah, it's a chicken, baby. That's a chicken? A chicken. Yeah. Uh, around this point is why you can't see the rotation. Uh, the reason being that uh, the gravity from the north and south... Uh, oh yeah, this goes... Look, it doesn't yeah, it twist does at all. Say, what, really? Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't spin. <laughs> and it doesn't rotate. Let me try to make it what do you call it? And it's called the Coriolis <laughs> Coriolis Coriolis effect. Coriolis effect. Or Coriolis force. It's named after the person who discovered this. So we that have to name this coming off after him. <laughs> so thank you so much. Oh, no, you're welcome. Thank you for teaching us. That is so weird. <laughs> what did you learn, Haley? This side spins. I don't know. That side. That side spins clockwise. And this side that side spins. Clock yeah. Canada. And what's your name? My name is Mathenge. Oh, nice to meet you, Mathenge. Yeah. <laughs>